Hi, my name is Emily Ionelli. Um, I also go by T Girl Angel. That's the name of my uh, music affiliated group. Uh, it's actually just me. Um, I am Emily Ionelli, who is the driving force of T Girl Angel. And uh, I also integrate my male persona. Uh, Edward D. Ionelli III as part of the group um, because I kind of integrate both my male and female sides though I predominantly identify more as female but that's just the way it is and I can't help that um, I've always uh, identified that way but I I'm not here to talk uh, about that specifically I'm going to be talking more about inspiration and what it is that um, inspires me uh, to uh, work on uh, my endeavors in the music field. Um, I like to record. I do many sound recordings and I also like to write a lot. Um, I've been writing now for several years in the wake of uh, a tragic event, uh, my father's suicide, unfortunately, but and also my son's situation with autism. That's what drew me into the world of writing, and I've been writing ever since, and I find that it helps me, and it gives me a uh, way to express myself and what's going on and what's happening in my life and how I feel about things. Um, and it helps and I think it's a good thing and I think it helps many people who do go through uh, situations in their life. Uh, for me personally, uh, I've struggled with a lot of things, especially with my dad's suicide. Uh, my mom's early death, uh, my transgender struggles, my son's autism. So I have been uh, affected in many ways. Um, and it lends me to uh, think and uh, isolate myself. And when I isolate, I try to uh, deal with things as best I can. Um, and for me, uh, I become somewhat inspired because um, I need to channel my energies into a creative outlet and uh, the ability to express myself in my thoughts, words, and actions is what helps me cope. I think we all need coping mechanisms in our life. And certainly for artists who are considered uh, musically inclined uh, or uh, even if they just speak words, it doesn't matter. It's what's from the heart that emanates from the heart. And that's what comes loud and clear. And when I want to write something, I put my whole energy into it and I write from what's inside here, my heart and I put a lot of emotion into it and I'm very sincere in what I write and what I share uh, I feel I have important things to relate to other people and um, I think that life for the most part is challenging in many ways and we don't always have the outcomes that we would like um, but we have to also remember that we have to be strong and to be strong you have to have faith but um, you also have to believe and you have to have confidence and faith in yourself um, we all have God-given abilities we all have um, the ability to express ourselves we all have the opportunities uh, we live in the United States, um, or I do at least, um, but I am on uh, a music artist page that features artists from all over the world. So, And I've been uh, 
actually uh, enjoying uh, communication with the, the many artists represented on the Reverb Nation site. Uh, I've only started my artist page uh, about a month or so ago. I was a fan on Reverb Nation for maybe two years now, but I wasn't re re um, post. I wasn't reflecting my art, my ability to communicate. That came later, and there were many events that happened for that to happen to come about. I should say, um, the first thing that propelled me into uh, creating this Reverb Nation artist page was my desire to want to write and to create something and to communicate my message. I think we all have a message and uh, I think it's important that we share what we feel is important to us and what we believe in. I think we all need to have that ability to uh, have a forum to express ourselves and Reverb Nation, YouTube, Twitter, um, um, uh, Blogger, uh, Facebook allows me a forum to express myself and to create things that I feel um, are important to me. Uh, I really do it for myself, but I also believe that when I share what I feel is important to me, I also believe that it can help someone else. And I always feel that um, we have a gift, and if we can share something that we can relate to other people who may be going through what we go through, uh, I think it's very helpful because others may not see um, they may be going through a hard time and if something attracts them and brings them into uh, a healthy way of hearing something or allows them to see something in a different light, it might benefit them. And that's basically why I like to write and create, is because I think that what I write and what I say, uh, whether it's through a video on YouTube, or a sound recording for Reverb Nation, or um, an entry on my blog or my Facebook page, I think we have that responsibility to um, be responsible. Well, I just said responsibility for being responsible. That's kind of stupid. But we have to be careful what we say um, because there are people who are fragile at times and they may be taking things literally. So you must have a way to express yourself in a way that uh, will hopefully help someone and benefit them. There are sensitive issues that I talk about and write about because I've been deeply affected by, by it. Um, certainly uh, depression is one of the things I face in my life. Bipolar disorder, I also uh, deal with uh, um, having a history of suicide in my family. My dad committed suicide. Uh, I also lost my mother. She starved herself to death in the hospital. So I've had my share of uh, tragedies. But um, writing gives me a source of... Uh, uh, it gives me like a... I, I, I urge, it helps me to satisfy uh, something that's empty. Uh, also being transgender is very hard and difficult to go through. And I can't really explain it. Uh, 
sometimes. So when I write it, and then I communicate it through uh, a recording or a video, it might come out clearer, and maybe the message will help someone. But inspiration is not an easy thing to... Um, you don't just all of a sudden become inspired. There are things that spark inspiration. Um, you have to also have an idea and you also have to have an outlet to create. Um, if you're inspired, uh, you have to channel that source of inspiration into something worthwhile. Um, for me, it's the written word. And when I speak, I try to uh, share something important to me that I think others may be interested in listening to. And I also try to speak with a gentle voice. I think it's very important. Now, I also have a conflict because I am transitioning from male to female. And I'm trying to uh, affect my voice in a more feminine way to sound like a female, but it's not so easy for me. So I have this kind of uh, in-between sounding voice, and it's frustrating uh, because I present myself as a female. Uh, I identify as a woman. I've been uh, transgender all my life, essentially. Since the age of three, I knew that I was different, and I, I enjoyed more being a girl uh, and all that but uh, I started transitioning three years ago and the only way that I could uh, cope and deal with that was to write and that's when I started to contribute to my blog and I also have hub pages where I wrote about transgender related issues um, that was uh, something that helped me and I think it's important that you draw inspiration from things I get inspired by my son I can have a dream at night that inspires me or a song that I hear on the radio uh, inspires me or a word that just pops into my head like today the word beach popped into my head and then I just started to write about being on a beach and that's how it happens it just happens I can't explain it but when I wrote my article about the well when I wrote my entry for beach I just let the words flow as if I was walking on the beach on the shore watching all the people go about their lives and all the kids doing their things and that's what helped me to uh, write a piece and then I recorded it through my uh, garage band feature on my iPhone into a sound recording that I downloaded into my Apple uh, uh, on my computer that I uploaded into a uh, sound editor to convert it to an mp3 that I uploaded to Reverb Nation and presto I got my entry for Beach not only in a word context but in an audio context so I wrote I thought of the word Beach translated it to words then did an audio speaking of it converted it to an mp3 and then uh, incorporated it into my Reverb Nation page. And that's what happens. You get inspired. And uh, I think it's healthy. And it's a good outlet. Uh, same thing with a video. I think of a topic. Or I just want to talk randomly about a, a subject. Or depression. Or transgender. Or autism. Whatever it may be. And then I speak it. And I just try to do it naturally. Because that's what I am. I'm just me, Emily. And I try to be natural. You know, that's all I can be. Uh, I'm just who I am. I'm the same person that I've always been. Anyway, I gotta go. I'll be back. Love you.
Bye, Emily.